talking to MPs and peers to find out about stories from our democracy past. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. Do you know what democracy means? Hi, I'm Tanvi, reporting with Film Club at Newnham Junior School, where I'll be finding out if my classmates know anything about Parliament and democracy. Come on in. Let's go and see what they think. Do you know what democracy is? Um, I'm not sure. Do you know what the Parliament is? Um, the Parliament is where all the people decide the rules. Do you know what an MP is? Sadly not. You know something, Robin, I was just wondering? Are we good guys or bad guys? You know, I mean, uh, are Robin the rich to feed the poor? Rob? That's a naughty word. We never rob. We just sort of borrow a bit from those who can afford it. Why do you think Robin Hood believed it was okay to steal from the rich to feed the poor? Because the poor were being exploited by the rich. They were being made to work on the rich men's land without being paid properly. The rich were in effect exploiting them, stealing from them. So I think that the level of inequality was so great and the rich had got their money in such an unfair, unjust way that Robin Hood thought it was right to steal from the rich. Majesty, we have proven reason to fear every Catholic in the fear land. Fear creates fear. I am not ignorant of the dangers, sir, but I will not punish my people for their beliefs, only for their deeds. I watched the film Elizabeth and it showed how much religion really influenced the government in the past. Now religion isn't really seem to be as important to the government. Do you think this is better or worse? Well, I don't know whether it's better or worse, it's a completely different situation we're in now. In the past, at the time of Queen Elizabeth I, particularly, and the people before her, religion and politics were very, very closely associated. You could say, at a certain stage, religion was politics. What leader or hero from the past do you most admire and why? I admire uh, particularly Nelson Mandela. I admire him because he went to prison for more than 27 years for his beliefs. But in the end, he came through and he became the president of his country of South Africa. So who, in your opinion, changed the government most drastically in the past and why? How about suffragettes who, who got women a vote? And because really before that, without poor people having a vote and without women having a vote, and I'm not sure that we had a democracy. Going back you know, way to the Great Reform Act, that was another hugely important um, time in our democracy when we did away with the, the, the rotten boroughs. And you know, it, again, it was a, about people being born to rule and the people not really having a say. But I'd rather say it's a mass of people because in the 19th century you get groups of people like the Chartists and then the Socialists and the Trade Unions at the end of the 19th century uh, and the women's movement at the beginning particularly of the 20th century. It tends to be groups because we're a democracy. Do you have a question for an MP? Should children have more of a say in their own education? Uh, of course they should have some say in their education. I think the core subjects need to be taught. I think uh, English and maths, I don't think that should be uh, an option as such. But I think other options should be in there. I, I certainly had options when I was at school and I, I would hope that schools do recognise that children have different needs and different abilities and uh, therefore they should have some say, yes. They should have some choice in what they learn because that's learning to be an adult. And maybe it could be um, there could be an hour a week where they can choose what to do. They could have some element of choice over certain modules. I think it's really important to involve children in having a say in their education. When I first got elected to Parliament, I got in touch with all the schools in my constituency to see whether they had a school council, because that's a good way that you can make sure that children, right from the youngest to the oldest, can be asked about things that are happening in their school, including their lessons. Yeah, uh, well, I think you've covered all of my questions, so thank you for your time. Thank you and thank you for coming all the way to Westminster to do this. Thank it's you. lovely to see you here. We've had an amazing day talking to really inspiring politicians about the government and politics in the past. We hope you enjoy your films. We loved ours. Don't, Don't forget, forget you're never too young to be involved with democracy. democracy.